Alright guys, today we are going to try to overload a Honda 7000 IS generator. I have absolutely everything in my house running right now. Um, it's got 3000 watts load on it right now. I'm going to go in, turn my oven on. And that should bring us up to a good 5,000 watts. And then I'll go ahead and add more load. But this is running my entire house. No air condition units. Every light in the house is on. Let's turn the oven on. Bake. It's an electric oven. Let's see what this loads. Let's do 400 degrees. Start. Yep, there it goes. Generator surged. I heard the load come on. Let's see what we're running at right now. All right, that's 5,600. Let's put an additional 1,875. with the blow dryer off on low we got 6,000 72 let's to the other blow dryer blow dryer number two at 7,500 the overload indicator came on It kicked off at about 7,700 watts. That's what it took to overload the Honda 7000. Now everything is dark in my house now, but I just wanted to see what it would take to overload this generator. So let's uh, shut it off, reset it. So now we know 7,700 watts will do it, okay? Let's crank it back up. Okay, we're back to 2,400. So, if we take all the load off of it, this is what it sounds like with no load. Let me flip this breaker and it'll take all the load off of it. There we go. That's no load. That's my little Honda. Fuel injected 7,000. And we know that it will take the load. I haven't found any videos on YouTube that's showing what it would take to cut this generator to make it drip out. So guess what? I was curious this morning, and that's what it took to make it trip out. Way overload. But it runs like a champ and works great. So anyway, guys, I highly recommend the Honda EU 7000 IS. Very, very strong generator.